Hey, what's up everybody, my name is TrophyNut and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within in the Valkyrie playthrough, which still means we only use female soldiers, as you can see, because now we have a team of six. So last time we had a lot of management going on, I know that, but we're ready to get into the thick of it again. Since last time, a large scout vessel has landed and will not waste any time to go and try and clear it out. So again, UFOs are really handy because we can get a lot of materials, a lot of funds, which is one of the problems in this playthrough since we use uh, use up a lot of funds get to, ready to uh, buy new soldiers. The continental United States. So here we go. Since Weiss is out, we don't have a dedicated healer. We have one medkit uh, should the need arise. But hopefully we won't need to. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. So as Bradford says, a large scout actually means there are a lot of aliens on the ship. Uh, adding to that is that... Moving to position. Since it's a landing, no aliens got hurt, no aliens died On during the crash, which gives us the concern that there will be even more than would this have been a normal crash. But we'll worry about that when we start encountering enemies. Because first, first we need to make sure we've got a nice position. And survive these first two turns. When I say two, I mean a few turns. So I don't immediately hear mutons, and although I'm not really familiar with the sound that the muton makes exactly. I think this is full cover. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put the mech a bit closer as well. Heading there now. Well, I think the UFO should be about around there somewhere. But we'll see so that in a second. So I think the edge of the map is here. Yeah, okay. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to start moving along this edge. New contacts detected. Okay, just on the edge of our sight, sadly. So we've got three floaters. Can the sniper see something? Yeah, okay, that's great. You can see one. Uh, I mean two. It has... the mech has one right in the open, so we're gonna try that first. And she takes it out! So the sniper is, is out of sight, we can still hit one. I'm gonna try that immediately, and I'm gonna try a headshot as well. Go Ruby! There he goes. So now we've got one left. Um, that one is sadly behind full cover. So if we do want to get a shot off, where is he exactly? He's on the left. So if you want to sh he wants to shoot any of my other soldiers, you're gonna have to come closer. Affirmative. You can't see him from there. I don't think he will be able to see me from there as well. So if I get pretty much everyone closer, of course behind cover. We can make sort of an overwatch wall. 
and hope that he either tries to sh come closer, which he does. That should be at least two overwatch shots. The rookie misses, which is normal. And Texas misses as well, which is bad. Is he gonna shoot from there? No. He's going away. Oh, and there's another tree. One of which takes one of the Overwatch shots to the face but doesn't kill him. Which is sad. There's another Overwatch shot. This time it does kill him. Okay, we went from tree floaters to tree again. So now we have a nice shot with the sniper on that far one. Uh, we have a shot on the back one as well. And I think I might even use a rocket. Because they should all be around here somewhere. I don't think they would be running away that far, so... Let's try this out. I sadly only got one. Which isn't that big of a problem, but... It's always nicer to have everyone. So Ruby takes out the one in the back. So now we have one floater left. I'm gonna try and put the mech closer. We try and take it out. Should miss. Yeah. Because uh, the closest enemy suffers a 20 aim penalty plus overwatch shots also suffer an aim penalty. 56 isn't amazing. It's all or nothing right now. And she takes care of it wonderfully. No rounds. Hostiles down. And she's out of bullets, which isn't bad since everything just died. And I have been counting aliens, and there should be none left. Nobody got shot as well, which is uh, an outcome I only could have hoped for. And put a few soldiers further. And we found a meld, but it's on a a two-turn timer. Solid copy. It should allow us to get it. Or not. I can use run and gun for that if needs be. So there are more floaters on the loose. I have one turn to get to the meld. Which is That's not a open. problem. You can see the UFO. It's only two seekers, which is not a problem at all. And I think the mech is able to get that meld as well. There we go. Let's start putting everybody around cover. And on Overwatch. So we can start by killing some... Uh, some Seekers. I'm gonna keep her in Overwatch, I think she has sight on pretty much everyone. And then put Yang in a dash to get closer as well. Hopefully serve as the most convenient bait it can get. And then everybody else on Overwatch. Two Seekers, four Overwatches, you know the drill. And now there's something really cool about the battle scanner. We're gonna assume that the, the seekers are around here somewhere. So if I throw a battle scanner, it should technically reveal them if they are within its radius. There we go. So, seeker boys, start panicking. Uh, there's one on the ground, as it seems, which I should be able to punch in the face. So if I stand over here, I should be able to kinetic strike this guy. 
maybe even hit the other guy. Engaging in close combat. Blammo. And that takes away that cover apparently, because he punches sideways. Um, then we of course should try and get the rookie a kill. Which will probably not happen. But hey, I'm optimistic. She hit it. That's something. Um, if I use Blake for this shot, she has a free shot. And she takes him out. He's down. There we go, I can still do something. I'm gonna reload. Um, I'm gonna put Yang behind that mouth canister. Put her in Overwatch. And let's just stay here for this turn. We've wasted enough actions. So that's eight enemies already, and it still sounds like there, there are like there are floaters on the field left. I'm gonna start cautiously moving forward. Uh, trying to stay behind the mech. Heading there now. And then we're gonna start scouting this large scout out now, shall we? We lost the last meld canister. And according to the game... There are floaters just outside here. So I'm gonna put Ruby inside. Just in case anything scary pops out. I'm on the move. We'll start orienting our efforts to that side of the craft. That's affirmative. Moving to position. I shouldn't come any closer because I think that's an open door. Affirmative. Okay. And hopefully, they either stay put or start moving around. Let's go check it out. On the move. Hostile spotted. Oh, they're over there. So there's one on Overwatch. Which of course means we're gonna use Texas to bait that Overwatch out. Solid copy. Okay. So that means I'm gonna put her in running gun. Going in for the kill. Headed there now. And heading over there. And lightning reflexes negates. I think that's the first time we've showed this. Lightning reflexes negates the first reaction shot. Which allows us to safely cross this space. So now try and kill the closest one. There we go. Got it. And now ideally the rookie should try and take out the furthest floater first. If she can. But she won't because that was ways off. So the next one that should get a promotion is Jessica as our mech so let's boost her outside get her as close as we can and fire a 72% shot which she hits because she is amazing Target pacified. I don't think she has missed a lot of shots um, so now we we'll start getting closer towards the inside of the ship so next up, we know how this area looks. Uh, the Overseer can spawn here. Nothing. Will do. So let's move her up over there, nothing happens. Okay. 
Which still doesn't mean we can get careless. That's affirmative. Let's try and open this side now. Seems to be empty as well. Heading to that location. So let's put the mech closer. Well, there's the lost melt canister. That would have been very hard to get there as fast as we should have. So, and after that, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to use that pincer movement again that I've uh, used the last time. Although the last time I just walked in there. Um, I'll put the sniper maybe a bit... Closer. And Overwatch. So yeah, it'll probably be just the Crystal Dude. Maybe even two Crystal Dudes. That can happen as well. So open the door. And there we have at least one. I think it'll stay with one. Let's open the other door just in case. And we need to get a promotion for our rookie over here. Which she apparently won't be able to get. Um, so then we'll try Texas first. So activate running gun. It's not really needed, but I like it. Rolling out. Give her a nice flank shot with only 55% aim, but she doesn't care. Another one down. Another Good one work, down Commander. indeed. 11 aliens kills and no operatives lost. Give me that mission result any day. I used one rocket, was outside of the UFO, but I don't think the game really cares about that. But we'll see what we're gonna get. Two promotions. That our troops return safely, but and Alexandra was certainly advance our development of new technology. Also turned into a heavy. So Jones now can uh, decide between automated threat assessment, which gives her a 15 defense extra when she goes into Overwatch, or advanced fire control, which removes the aim penalty from Overwatch shots. Which is always very handy. I'm gonna use her mostly as an Overwatch shield. You generally don't get shot when you're in Overwatch as well. So there we go. Eight floater corpses, 50 Illyrium, 120 alien alloys, a whopping 120, 16 weapon fragments, half of the melt, four flight computers, two power sources, and nothing was damaged. Um, the game sometimes does that weirdly, but apparently nothing was damaged, and I'll take it. Uh, what we can do, of course, is sell a lot of this stuff and keep the floater corpses because we're going to be able to use those. But I can sell at least one flight computer. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to leave the rest over there, just in case. And then. Uh, I'm that wonder why I should hire more soldiers. Because right now we're at 11 women. And I might be able to use those funds later on. Uh, I don't think the... No, they're not there yet in North America. So I didn't think there's much to do other than just try and... Continue scanning. The United States. So we have our interceptors above North America. I'm gonna equip one with the Phoenix cannon. There we go. Mission control. And continue scanning. And we have the foundry before anything else, which is also very nice. I'm gonna see if we need extra construction, then I'm gonna 
first maybe check how many days we're off 25 so I'm gonna start building those satellites so Commander, three satellites our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity we should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments and for the other uplinks I'm gonna have to see how much I need I think it's 100 and I need an extra engineer as well so we're gonna need to take that into account but it's 14 days for a satellite uplink so we still have about nine days to get that going on the other side we have the heavy weapons what am I talking about the foundry and there are two um, very interesting projects available in here we have mad kits which gives us improved medkits, which would give us an extra 50% healing capacity. Ammo conservation is also very handy, carrying more ammunition before we need to reload, but we need Newton corpses for that one. Um, the tactical rigging is one I really, really like. It's 200 credits, but it allows each soldier to carry two items instead of one. Uh, the pistol is also very nice to improve that, but we don't really have anyone with uh, the gunslinger perk. So we're gonna hold off on any of those projects, because we don't really have the funds to start doing tactical rigging right now. Um, although we could get there, of course, but I won't be doing it right now. I think we're good. Um, I'm gonna hire... No, I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna wait for that. So expand the list for me. So I have about nine days before I really need that satellite uplink. So if we can get another engineer, we should go for it. Or otherwise build a workshop. Which is also an option. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to see... can see the time for a workshop right away which is annoying because I don't want to start selling stuff but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna sell a few things to get a workshop going uh, what was it I think I was 130 right Okay, begin construction. 10 days, so that will not be fast enough. So I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna need to get that engineer from an abduction site. And not anything else. Um, we're not that close near power. And I think I need two power. Yeah, so I'm gonna start building that access elevator. And now we can start continue scanning. Yeah, the abduction signs. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So the sniper would be very nice. We're good on panic everywhere, so we're not really fixed on that. Um, but it's also nice. We're gonna go to Volgograd in Russia, I think, because we're really in need of those engineers, which will allow us to help other countries in turn. So that would be our next assignment. So, Alexandra Pavlova is um, heavy as well now. So we're gonna have to clear out someone to make a room for another rookie. And I think I might even take out Yang for one mission and add a rookie instead I'm gonna have to see about those aim percentages 65 is the best I can do so she comes with a vest a laser rifle and that's it so Beth and we're good I think I'm gonna add the scope to her I'm gonna have to make items available. 
and give her that scope. So we're pretty much set for next mission, a bit of a changing crew. Not that that is bad on the opposite. So thank you guys again for watching. And next time we're going to go to Russia again. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching the video and subscribe to my channel for more. So thank you guys again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.